Maya, the monster. Hello, what is up, guys? My prediction for Naoya Inoue versus TJ Doheny or Terence John Doheny is that Inoue will probably be the first guy who KOs slash TKOs Doheny. After watching all the fights of Naoya Inoue and TJ Doheny, I can safely predict that Naoya will KO TJ. It's obvious, right? Yeah, but let's talk about TJ. TJ has a good enough KO ratio. He scored 20 KOs from 26 wins. He's beaten some formidable opponents, and he's never been stopped. He's made competitive fights versus opponents who beat him. So he has some pluses, he's never been stopped. We know Naoya will beat him. We all kind of predict that, or most people predict that, even the ones who are with TJ. But I'm doubling, I'm doubling down and saying that Naoya, in a way, I'm double, but I'm doubling down and saying that Inoue will KO slash TKO Doheny. Naoya Inoue has topped the toughest of opponents, from Stefan Fulton to Nonito Donaire, winning by decision and winning by KO, and Paul Butler. He's unified two divisions. Do we need to go on? You can easily place him as number one in the pound for pound list. If you don't want to place him as number one, you can give him number two. Not number two, it's number three between Uzik, Crawford, and Naoya. Many people place him as number one. TJ Doheny is a great fighter and he's a good fighter and he, and he does well, but he stands no chance against a great like Naoya Inoue. So I predict that Naoya Inoue will probably KO him within nine rounds. Now for Ismail Barroso versus Andy Hirwaka. I predict that Andy Hirwaka will beat Ismail Barroso by decision. And maybe by TKO KO there's a chance, but probably by decision. Barroso is a tough old bull with huge knockout power. Looking at their previous fights, Barroso knocked out O'Hara Davies immediately first round. O'Hara Davies has stayed complete fight and made a competitive fight versus Jack Catterall, which is a top fighter. And Barroso knocked out Davies first round immediately. Just to see the level of skill Barroso has. He's also destroyed Rolando Romero and the fight they had. They gave Rolando Romero a TKO victory when he was scoring some punches on Barroso, but that was called out and very debatable stoppage. It was a very debatable and it was a very debatable stoppage. A lot of people said Barroso won that fight and should have won that fight and he knocked him down and that, and this shouldn't have been that stoppage. And Barroso would have probably won by decision, if not knockout. Rondo Romero is an entertaining fighter. But Barroso was pummeling him before they gave Rolando Romero the stoppage. Barroso ain't no joke. But Hiroaka has defeated some formidable opponents. And he's defeated Jin Sasaki, another great knockout artist that wasn't defeated. Jin Sasaki's only loss is against Hiroaka and he's right now been rising in the boxing field. Andy Uruwaka has a great KO ratio, has been beaten some has beaten good opponents, and that's why I predict he'll win the fight versus Barroso by decision. Small chance of a KO victory. But this will be an entertaining fight with a man like Barroso. With that much knockout power, this will be nice. You can see my prediction for Tyson Fury versus Alexander Uzik part 2 up above. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time. Take care everyone. Bye. Trying to land a couple more. Big uppercut from Dime.